Well, here I am in a dilemma straight away. I'm working on the tenth and final card from this Fantasy Castle card series. It's an A5, the cameras are rolling, I've put on my yellow, red and blue, and now I've got to try and make the thing work. I've got to try and find an image out of this beginning. So, while I'm doing something that a lot of people probably do, I'm sort of going for an idea that I've now fixed in my head, and it's the idea of a little dragon. This wing that I'm working on already had the sort of crook of the wing um, defined in, in the abstraction. But sometimes you can preconceive and just take an idea too far and, well, it all becomes too fixed and too stuck and it just goes totally wrong. And that's what's happened here. I mean, it's just a mess. So, just get rid of it. I mean, it's time to move on, time to try something else. And so, it's not really desperation, it's just, well, okay, the pressure's on, what can I do? So I try, I look, I make some different marks, some different moves. Something is going to speak to me. There's going to come a moment when I'm going to think, yeah, that's it. And I've taken a lot of colour off, now I can put colour back on again. I'm staying just with the red, yellow, blue, because that was my starting point and just seeing what I can find out of this abstraction. Now, the scrying, the very gentle, light movement that I was doing in some of the previous things is the effect that I'm going to use again. And these three strokes that I've just made gave me this information. And from this, I developed the rest of the picture. The trick with creative imagination, this type of work, is to notice what's already there, what is being suggested. And that pinky red um, mark on the right hand side, just below my finger there, sort of put me in mind of an angelic character. So it didn't take a lot of effort on my part to develop the, the characters in this form. And now I'm going to what I know so well from the past cards in this Fantasy Castle card series and that's the little path. And as it happened, these two marks came out that I'm just at with the scriber there, and they suggested to me that they could be trees in the middle distance, and so that's how I've used them, and I've wound the path through them to add to the illusion of that. And I'm bringing this path forward to finish in that blob so that it looks natural and just disappears into the picture uh, as though it belongs there. Now you know that you can always put more colour on, so I'm just putting some of the blue-green colour on to, to develop a bit more foreground detail and see what that can give us. And then a bit of extra colour. Uh, it's all looking a little bit murky in some of the colouring, especially in the foreground. So some red flowers. Better put the castles in since these are fancy castle cards. And then the image is starting to, to take shape. I've got a far distance in the castles. I've got the pathway that winds through those trees, which are in the middle distance. And then I've got the figurative work in the foreground of those sort of um, angelic characters on the right-hand side there. A few stars to dispel the darkness, the, the darker areas that are in that distance. And then just adding in bits of detail. I'm sort of joining up that effect so that it makes it look as though those characters are standing in a cave, perhaps. Now, when it's a bit murky and dark, like I said, what you can do is just use a block of wax directly over the actual wax backgrounds, over the textures. Do it lightly, uh, you'll get to know the pressure that you need to apply to get it on. And I find it particularly good with colours like yellow because it lifts the feeling of the whole card. And here I'm putting in a couple more characters. Again, they're signals of depth. They're sort of smaller versions of what's in the foreground. And so it gives the feeling of an increasing depth in the middle of that picture there. So out of that mess, oh, it's all gone horribly wrong, came this little beauty. Great.
This fantasy castle card set has been lots of fun for me. Straight Iron Edge, those first four, followed by the nice bright abstract chaos, and then the stylus three castles. Next was the scry set, where we look, we see, we discover what's there. And then finally, that approach of scrying sort of became the way that the angels and castles came to be. Thanks for watching. Be well, stay well. I'm Michael Bossom. Dream well, create with beauty. See you next time. Bye-bye.